Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. Uh, Want to go over who won the contest? Happy that uh, Munery USA and really, if you go just go to Ammo List, they're the same company. Switching names. Um, I don't even pronounce Munery right, but it's Latin for Ammo. But he is going with another name, uh, Ammo List, which I think is much better because I can say it without saying him. Am I pronouncing that wrong? But our winner is. There were so many good entries, and a lot of the uh, quotes are famous quotes that we all know. Um, thank you for the quotes. I read through the quotes many times, um, and really it humbled me. It was like, wow, there's so many great people that have gone before me or are out there right now doing things uh, for our country, and humbled me saying, am I doing enough? I mean, can I live up to these quotes, or, or do I even come close um, to the bar when, when it comes to being a good citizen of our country. Uh, not a good subject, but a good citizen. So humbling to read them all. I appreciate them all. Um, I appreciate Max uh, donating this ammo. But the winner is Chinook Daddy 47. Uh, his quote was, I regret that I have but one life to give for my country, Nathan Hale. I think there's a couple other people that mentioned this quote, but this is the one I picked. Um, Nathan Hale, you probably wonder why did I pick this quote. My son is named after Nathan Hale. When I was in sixth grade, I read a little book on Nathan Hale, uh, and he always stirred me. Um, a little bit about Nathan Hale. He was a teacher. He was in the Continental Army. I think he died when he was 20 or 21. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look. But he died very young. Nathan Hale was given the task of going behind enemy lines and spying on the British. And that's what he did in the area of New York City. He went behind enemy lines, drew pictures, uh, got critical information, and on his return, he was captured. Uh, he never received the trial at all. He was executed the next day by being hung. Um, so if you think uh, the governments uh, are doing anything different nowadays, you know, with black sites, uh, with just pulling you off the streets, not charging you with anything, and you disappear. Pretty, pretty same what they did uh, during any time of, of war. And the British should have gave him a trial at least, uh, but he didn't receive no trial. He was executed the next morning. And his famous quote, I regret that I have but one life to give for my country, Nathan Hale. So, Chinook Daddy 47 Send me uh, an email to southernpurple1 at yahoo.com and I'll verify that that's actually you through uh, Chinook Daddy 47 and Max will get that 200 rounds right off to you. I'll be uh, busy for the next few days um, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. I will be doing some training, some excellent excellent training and the purpose of our training I'll be going to a site I've never been there before working with another prepper group uh, and he actually ordered or gave us an op order and I'll just give you the situation and a few details of what we'll be doing so I can lay the background we are now in a raw situation emergency services have been overwhelmed and we are now on our own we have activated our retreat defensive plan and he goes in who the enemy is, who the friendly is, but the mission. To protect our retreat from all threats to our safety by providing a defensive perimeter around the retreat proper and security patrols around the immediate area. So, it's going to be fun. Three days of just, just training, uh, spending time with other preppers. Uh, and I am looking forward to because I want to see what they're doing. You know, I do it my way, they do it their way. Uh, there's really no right or wrong way. It's the uh, collection of all of our brains to say, hey, maybe we can do it this way. So I am looking forward to learning. Um, we're going to be roughing it. We're going to set up a patrol base. I'll probably do a video on a patrol base. Um, so we're going to be uh, eating out of our rucks, living out of our rucks. It's, it's going to be fun. It's what I used to do for a living. Um, so, you know, you're going to get a little dirty. Might, might get rained on. So it is going to be a good test uh, of my tactical gear, my weapon system, my night vision. Um, it's going to be an excellent, just a test. And I'm going to be in an environment that I'm not used to. I'm not even going to be in this state. So I'm going to go somewhere where I've never been and get some good training. We will be uh, eating out of our rucks. 
So I'm going to be taking me some Mountain House, and I'm going to be trying that. I'm going to tell you what I like. Um, Walmart had a sale last week on them, a clearance sale. So they were a good half off. So just by chance, I was able to pick some up. So I'll be eating some Mountain House. I'm going to take some Wise. I hope I don't need to eat it. Uh, if anybody shows up that didn't bring enough food, they are welcome to my Wise. I'm not a fan of Wise, but I, I do want to use it up. So I'll, I'll be taking a few pouches of Wise. Uh, I will be taking some MREs. I am a fan of MREs. I thought when I got out of the Army I would never eat another MRE. Um, but actually, for the price, for what you get in them, they're a great deal. Um, if you look at a McDonald's value meal now, I mean, they're like $7.99 for one of the large ones. Ridiculous. And you can get MREs for less than that. Um, I got these from Max at uh, Ammo List. He, I think he still has them on sale. I think they're $39.99 for a case. That is by far the cheapest you will find them out there. Yeah, you got to add some shipping, but still they're cheaper uh, than any other company out there. So if you need MREs, uh, hit, hit up Max. I'm very interested in some of these Mountain Home, Mountain House, because I haven't tried some of these varieties. I got uh, a breakfast skillet, uh, rice and chicken, and apple crisp. I'm interested in the apple crisp. So I'm going to tell you how they taste. Um, just You might like them, you might not like them. And I'll definitely have my MREs, because um, they're easy. And if we are in a situation where we're not using any fire, um, or I can't heat anything up, this mountain house is pretty useless, so the MREs will do. But I, I'm planning on having a fire some of the time just to sit around the campfire with a bunch of preppers and good patriots and just talk. Um, I am looking forward to it. I haven't done something like this in a while. I will be taking my video camera. Um, I'm going to be just looking at a few of my gear. I'm going to be looking at my EOTech. I was using my EOTech the other day and outside I wasn't using my night vision but I was able if it was a real situation that I could actually shoot by using the EOTech uh, I switched over to using the iron sights and I didn't I could not see the sights uh, so I'll be using that um, and doing a lot of good training and a lot of evaluating of my personal gear to make sure it's up to snuff um, and, and I'm gonna give you those suggestions what's worked for me you know, every time I do a major training event, it's like, wow, I thought that was going to work, and it was an ultimate failure. So, you know, I want to find failures now. I don't want to find failures when really we have to defend our property, or really there is a natural disaster. Um, and the only way you can do that is to train. So, Chinook Daddy 47, thank you for sharing. Um, and what got you was Nathan Hale uh, was a fan when I was very young. I was a fan of him, and I named my son after Nathan Hale, so that was a dead ringer. Thanks.